Hey, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing how to fly with an infant. <laughs> One of the most popular videos on my channel is a video of when I flew with my daughter, Phoebe. And so if you wanna go check that out, I will put that right up here for you. And I thought I would do an updated video because of so many questions that I received on that video. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to share some things that I missed in that video, plus some more essential tips for you if you're going to be traveling alone with an infant. Today, I'm traveling with my oldest child, John. <laughs> so he's going to be holding the camera from time to time, but I'm going to share with you as if I was traveling alone, how I would do all the things that I'm doing. First things first, I'm traveling with my lovely little Andrew, and he is in the Bugaboo B. The B is really simple to fold down and really, really compact to travel with. And then I've got the matching car seat. So here is how I'm gonna get the car seat and the stroller and my luggage all the way over there. <laughs> so I take the car seat and I basically hitch it to my suitcase and I'm able to then pull the suitcase and car seat behind me with one hand and push the stroller and the baby with the other hand and make my way over to check in. This is something new I picked up for this trip. I grabbed a car seat cover on Amazon and I'll put the link for this cover down below in the description. It folds up so neatly into this little pouch and it keeps the car seat nice and clean when you want to check it. I definitely recommend checking it if you are going to be traveling alone because the car seat, of course, can be really heavy to carry around with you. I prefer to have a stroller just because it's a little bit more breathable for the baby and I can recline a stroller unlike a car seat and so I always recommend checking the car seat. Hey, happy baby, oh my goodness. We made it through baggage check. I've got my documents and now we're headed to our gate. Going through security with a baby, you really just need to take a really big deep breath and just do it. It's gonna be over before you know it. This part can naturally get a little bit hectic, but just breathe. I find people are often really helpful. Take all the time you need to collect your belongings after you go through the detectors and all the things, you got this. A carrier really is your best friend when you are traveling alone because it allows you to be hands-free. I really like this soft structured one as opposed to a wrap because it can uh, function really, really well and I will post where I got this one in the description. So before I get coffee or snacks, or anything, I like to make sure I find my gate because of way too many past experiences where I thought the gate was like two seconds away and actually you had to take like a train <laughs> to get there. So I've just learned from past experience to find the gate first and then get whatever snacks and whatever you need. When I travel alone, I really like to wear a blazer with deep pockets. In these pockets, I put our travel uh, documents so that I can just reach in and really quickly grab. I have headphones because, oh, that's a charger. Charger is helpful. I've got essential oils of multiple kinds inside. And then in my other pocket, I've got um, a pacifier for the baby. Look how cute this one is. I'm obviously holding it. You love holding it! Uh, one credit card, so that if I want to order something on the plane, I don't get fish. 
I have learned the hard way on multiple flights that parts of your stroller can go missing when you check it on the airplane. So I picked up this gate check bag for the stroller on Amazon and I'll link it in the description and it just allows you to have the security that your stroller will remain clean and all the pieces to your stroller will stay intact. Okay, we made it to our seats. Little Andrew is all snug. So now I'm going to sit down and take off my jacket. I would have done this not in the seat if I was thinking about it. So note to self, take off your jacket <laughs> before you sit down just because it's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take off my jacket and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prep Andrew for takeoff. All right, I managed to squirm out of my jacket. That was a gymnastic attempt. And now I'm going to prep Andrew for the takeoff. So you are not allowed to put the carrier like on you with the baby when you're flying. So what I do is I keep it belted to me so that I don't have to put him down again. It makes it easier for when I need to put him back in, take him out. If I need to go to the restroom while on the airplane, I will strap him to me and take him with me because that's what you do when you fly alone. And so I just find it so much easier to keep the carrier on in whatever way you can so that you don't have to like take it off completely because it's a little uh, more challenging to do that when you are alone. Okay, so as you can see, he is free of the carrier, but the carrier is still attached to me, so it'll be easy to put him back in it when I need to. And people ask me often, what do you do for the baby's ears? Um, and are you worried about the baby's ears popping during takeoff and landing? So I just simply nurse him. I have traveled with several babies, and it's never been an issue on their ears, and I just nurse him on the way up and on the way down. You love nursing, don't you, baby Andrew? Oh my goodness. I am a mindset and business coach for moms, and we are on our way to a conference in Houston, Texas for Catholic entrepreneurs, where I'm gonna be speaking on some of the topics I cover in my book, The Possibility Mom, on how to balance work and family. I'm the mom of nine kids, and if you're curious about more work-life balance content, I've got some videos right here for you in the cards. My best advice when flying alone with an infant is to manage your mind and just stay calm and not worry about people watching you, not worry about what people are going to think, and just be very present and be calm. If you are calm, the baby will be calm, and it is totally possible to fly alone with an infant and have it be a fairly peaceful, or as peaceful as it can be, experience. If I do bring any toys with me when I travel, I make sure they are the kind that can be clipped. <laughs> and I also do not leave home without a rosary. In this case, I've got a rosary bracelet so I can pray on our flight. our destination I prefer if at all possible to change diapers before I get on the airplane and then when I land but they do have change pads in the bathrooms in airplanes I just don't prefer it because it is so uh, confined when it comes to space but it is obviously very possible to change a baby's diaper on the airplane so I often get asked how do you go to the bathroom when you are traveling alone with a baby. So basically two options. Number one, strap the baby to you and go to the bathroom <laughs> and that's it. But if you are lucky, you find places like this. Many airports will have mother's rooms where you are able to nurse the baby and go to the bathroom easily. 
nice and private, so clean. And then there are rooms to nurse the baby, which is so convenient. Hey, hey buddy, did we do it? Can we go on an airplane together? We did. Oh my goodness, we did it. One thing I love about the Bugaboo Bee is that I can see the little guy's getting sleepy, so this canopy extends to give him a bit more privacy. As much as possible after a flight, the same way that adults like you and I need to stretch our legs, the baby needs to stretch his little legs. And so I'm so happy that he's kind of reclining in here, kicking his little toe toes out. Are you happy? Are you a happy baby? We'll give you some privacy. There you go. <laughs> See how it got like all dirty? Oh my gosh, you didn't get dirty. It's so nice. Okay, so people ask me often, hey. how come I'm not traveling with base? You can totally use, and check your instruction manual on your car seat, but you can use the lap belt. The belt hooks in here and strips uh, and, and connects it to the car using the lap belt. So that is what you can do while traveling. We had an amazing conference. I had a great time speaking and now we are on our way home. I hope you found this video helpful to you and that you feel empowered to travel alone with your baby. I have created a packing list for you and you can find that list right below this video. It's a really good list if you're gonna be traveling alone with an infant. Click on the link to grab it. My heart is really for helping moms pursue their personal goals and dreams while being amazing moms at the same time. So I have created a playlist for you. Go ahead and click it right here on the pursuit of dreams in motherhood. And I will see you on the other side.